The film commences with an episode of the widely acclaimed game show, To Tell the Truth, set in 1977. Three contestants assert themselves as the legendary Frank William Abagnale, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, who, before the age of 19, successfully impersonated an airline pilot, a lawyer, and a doctor while scamming millions across three continents. When asked about his captor, Frank reveals the name Carl Hanrity. The narrative then shifts to 1969, with FBI agent Carl Hanrity, portrayed by Tom Hanks, arriving at a French prison to extradite a flu-stricken Frank Abagnale Jr. despite Frank's attempt to escape. His illness prevents him from getting far. Frank surrenders and requests Carl to take him home. The storyline then flashes back six years earlier. 16-year-old Frank Abagnale Jr. resides in New Rochelle, New York, with his father Frank Abagnale Sr., Christopher Walken, and French mother Paula, Natalie Bay. Admiring his father, Frank witnesses him conning a woman into lending him a suit. Frank drives his father to the Chase Manhattan Bank, posing as a chauffeur in an attempt to impress and secure a loan. When the loan is denied due to Frank Sr.'s IRS tax fraud, the family is compelled to move to a smaller apartment, leading to tension between Frank's parents. Enrolled in a public school, Frank wears his former school's uniform on the first day, facing mockery from classmates. To retaliate, he pretends to be the substitute teacher, successfully maintaining the ruse until his deception is uncovered. After discovering his mother's affair, Frank's parents divorce, and he runs away from home, using his checkbook to con his way to transportation and shelter. Running out of money, he resorts to creating fake checks and attempting confidence scams with limited success. Inspired by airline pilots' VIP treatment, Frank obtains a Pan Am Airlines pilot's uniform, learns about the airline, and successfully cashes fake checks across New York. His schemes expand as he gains knowledge about check routing and purchases a check coding machine. Simultaneously, Carl Hamerty, a persistent FBI agent, tracks Frank's check fraud. Discovering Frank's location in a hotel, Carl attempts an arrest, but Frank, feigning to be Agent Barry Allen of the United States Secret Service, manages a daring escape. Carl realizes he has been deceived only after Frank has vanished. Despite collecting fingerprints and room information, the pursuit leads to dead ends. In another meeting with the Pan AM executives, Frank discovers that he has garnered various nicknames, including the Skywayman and the James Bond of the Sky. Fueled by this recognition, he acquires a Bond-style suit and joyrides in an Aston Martin. Shortly thereafter, at a hotel, he encounters Cheryl and Jennifer Garner, a magazine model. She proposes spending the night for $1,000, but Frank asserts he only has a $1,400 check. Cheryl suggests he endorse it to her, promising to pay the remaining $400 in cash. Surprisingly, Frank ends up being paid by Cheryl for the encounter. Using his ill-gotten gains, Frank endeavors to reunite his divorced parents. He treats his father to a lavish dinner and gifts him a new Cadillac. However, Frank Sr. declines, citing IRS scrutiny and Paula's refusal to communicate. Months later, on Christmas Eve, Carl works alone in the FBI office when Frank calls to apologize for their hotel encounter. Carl rebuffs the apology, challenging Frank to meet face to face. Although Frank provides his location, Carl doubts its authenticity. As the conversation unfolds, Carl realizes Frank's loneliness. Frank, angered, hangs up, and Carl resumes his investigation with renewed vigor. Carl learns that Barry Allen is a character in The Flash comics, suspecting Frank may be a minor. Unable to find records or fingerprints, Carl recalls Frank's mention of the New York Yankees, leading him to search for runaways in the area. Eventually, they trace Frank's mother, now married to Jack Barnes. Recognizing Frank in a yearbook photo, Carl informs Frank's mother of his $1.3 million check fraud. In Atlanta, Frank befriends Brenda Strong, Amy Adams, a nurse. He fabricates a Harvard Medical School diploma to pose as a doctor, securing a position as the emergency room night administrator. Despite lacking medical expertise, Frank influences interns to make medical decisions. He and Brenda fall in love, and Frank proposes to help her reconcile with her disowned family. Meanwhile, Carl confronts Frank's father, who refuses to betray his son. A letter reveals Frank's Atlanta address, but he has already left for Louisiana to meet Brenda's parents. Spotting Frank's Harvard diploma, Carl tracks him to the hospital, 
where Frank has resigned. Frank and Brenda meet her parents in Louisiana. Frank falsely claims to be a Lutheran, lawyer, and doctor. Brenda's father accepts, thinking it a romantic gesture. Frank passes the bar exam and joins Roger's law firm. During wedding preparations, Frank returns to New York, revealing his engagement to his father. Frank Sr., a U.S. Post Office employee, discloses his mother's remarriage and advises him to continue. Disheartened, Frank departs from his father. On Christmas Eve, Frank contacts Carl at the FBI office, a call anticipated by Carl and monitored by his team. Frank declares his intention to settle down and urges Carl to cease pursuit. However, Carl discloses that Frank has now stolen approximately $4 million. Unaware of his misstep in mentioning the engagement, Frank hangs up. Carl, having uncovered Frank's alias in Atlanta, deduces that he maintained the same name upon moving to Louisiana due to his relationship with Brenda. Examining wedding announcements, Carl and his team trace Frank to the night of the engagement party. Frank, realizing the imminent exposure, confesses his true identity to Brenda before escaping through a window. He instructs her to meet him at the local airport a few days later. When Brenda arrives, she discovers FBI agents closely monitoring her, easily identified by Frank. When Frank fails to appear, Carl has his men stake out the airport, anticipating Frank's attempt to outsmart him. Frank implements a new plan, posing as a recruiting pilot for Pan AM at a local college. He selects attractive girls as stewardesses, using them as a distraction while maneuvering through the crowd unnoticed. Carl's agents are diverted, and Frank escapes to Europe, even deploying a decoy to further confound Carl. Seven months later, in 1967, Carl informs his boss that Frank is now forging genuine checks across the Eastern Hemisphere. Denied permission to pursue him in Europe, Carl persists and discovers that the checks were likely printed in a specific European country, one of which is France. Remembering Frank's mother's French heritage, Carl travels to Montrichet, France, where he finds Frank in a printing factory on Christmas Eve. Claiming to have arrived with the French police, Carl convinces Frank to handcuff himself. As they step outside, the French police apprehend Frank, and Carl promises to extradite him to the USA. After two years, Frank is released into Carl's custody, and on Christmas Eve 1969, the plane bringing Frank back to the United States prepares to land. Carl reveals that Frank Sr. passed away the previous year. Devastated, Frank escapes from the plane to locate his mother. Frank arrives at the Barnes residence, where he discovers his mother happily married to her second husband, with a young daughter who is his half-sister. Realizing his family has moved on and with his father gone, Frank surrenders as Carl and local police arrive to arrest him before his true identity is recognized. Frank is tried, convicted, and sentenced to 12 years in maximum security federal prison in Atlanta. Over the next four years, Carl visits him regularly, especially during Christmas. During one visit, Frank effortlessly identifies a forger Carl is pursuing by glancing at a check, offering a valuable lead. In a subsequent visit with his boss, Carl presents Frank with a check, which Frank promptly identifies as fake, bringing a smile to Carl's face. I know.